Hello there and a very good evening and welcome along to the Half Yard Sewing Club live stream this evening. Now then, is it noisy? Because I've got a fan on. So I'm, I'm looking a little bit like a hair advert this evening, but it's very hot here in the UK. I don't know what it's like where you are and I, I, I'm in danger of my makeup melting onto the table and my hair just sticking to my head. So just let me know if it's too noisy and we'll switch that off and wait and see what happens. So, as usual, where in the world are you? What time is it? What are you doing? Are you enjoying the sunshine? Have you shut yourself inside with the curtains drawn? What are you up to this evening? What are you sewing? What would you like to sew? What are you doing? So I just want to be really nosy and have a little peek into your life. Um, if you're new to us, if it's the first time you've happened along to the Half Yard Sewing Club, I'll explain briefly what we're all about. We are growing and growing and growing. There's thousands of us now um, all over the world joining the Half Yard Sewing Club. It is a subscription website. So every single month you are going to receive for your £5.99 or whatever you are in dollars um, a pattern download. Now I do downloadable projects and patterns and videos because we are worldwide because I don't want to exclude anybody by not being able to post out packages. So you'll have a project designed by myself, you'll have step-by-step -step instructions for said project and you'll have a video. That can be anything from a quilting project, maybe a little dressmaking project, it could be bag making. It's a really wide variety of different genres of sewing. So there's something for everybody. But we don't stop there because on top of your regular monthly project with video, you will also receive another project. No video with this one, but just, just another one thrown in for good measure. On top of that, we have a block of the month, so we're building up a quilt over the course of 12 months. Uh, if you join now, you'll get all of those blocks backdated for 12 months as well, so you won't have missed out on anything. You're also going to have hints and tips starting um, your dressmaking journey if you're new to dressmaking. So every month something new will go on there with videos as well. What else do you get? Discounts, special offers, competitions, giveaways. There's lots going on. Oh, and there's Ask a Member, which is one of the newer features to the website as well. So if you have a question, pop it on there. If I don't get to see it or one of the team don't get to see it straight away, then hopefully one of you will. So it's a way for you kind of to interact. Oh, and then there's this, our live stream every month. Now this one's going to be a little bit different because we're just going to have lots of chat and I've got lots of things coming up that I want to share with you as well. So it's quite a busy and exciting time. Before we do that, let's take a look who's here. Um, Mona Newton, Nate Cliff, hi. Hello, Helen and uh, Lawrence. And Ka oh, hi, Carol and uh, Mary. It's hot out here in Spain too. Oh, I bet it's hotter out there than it is here. Um, good to see you at the NEC. And I hope you found the pink cushion useful. That pink cushion is with my sewing machine down here. It's been everywhere with me. Thank you so much for that. Mary made me a pink cushion and her husband is right back my sewing machine. Just let me pick it up. He whittled the base, look. Isn't that pretty? So all of this is handmade and then Mary made the, um, the pink cushion bit to go in the middle. And uh, as you have a look at that, as you can see, it's very well used. It has been going everywhere with me, so yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Uh, right, let's come back again. We can pop that there, pride of place. Hi, Margaret and Rosalind and Carol and Sue and so oh, there's loads of us um, and Debbie and Susan. Are we all in the UK at the moment? I'm loving it. I don't, I'm not going to talk about the weather for the whole of the hour, but just to say I'm, I'm loving it. It's my favourite thing. Uh, right. News. New stuff like what is coming up. Um, so I've been working with Bosal. Bosal are a company, if you weren't aware, that make stabilisers and interfacings and fusible fleece and fusible foam stabiliser and non-fusible foam stabiliser and single-sided foam stabiliser and double... You get, you get the drift. They, they do stuff to go behind your fabric and I've been working on some bag patterns for them which I'm launching at the Festival of Quilts. There are three to start with and you will receive or you can buy the pre-cut out shapes to make the bag so there's no measuring or anything like that. This is one of them. This is rosemary. So you'll have the shape of the flap, you'll have the shape of the bag with the darts cut into it. You choose your own fabric and then there'll be a pattern and instructions that you can buy as well. 
and all you're going to do is diffuse the bosal onto your fabric, cut around it, sew it together. No particular seam allowance, it's really, really easy. So I've got three. That's the rosemary. This one, Leslie made this one up for me. In my new Christmas fabric that I'll talk about in just a sec. So it's the satchel style of bag, but it's really simple because the front pocket doesn't have a gusset on it. So it's a great bag for a beginner but it does have that satchel kind of styling with it as well. If you want to add pockets and things too, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, they look very different in different fabrics as well. I'm going to make this one up in a faux leather just to see what a difference it'll make. And then the final one here is Elizabeth, which is a bit more of a shopper style of bag. Um, and again, looking very different in different styles of fabric. So Festival of Quilts is at the NEC in Birmingham on the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th of August, so it's only the week after next. So I shall be on the Lady So-and-So stand every morning for a couple of hours. I can do my book signing there, um, you can buy your bosal kit there, that's going to be the launch, not available anywhere else at that time. And then in the afternoon I shall be on the Empress Mill stand and that's going to be every single day. So a couple of hours Lady So-and-So in the morning, a couple of hours Empress Mills in the afternoon. And because I get an hour off for lunch in the middle, I'll be doing a live stream for sewing quarter while I'm there as well. Shan't eat for a week. Um, hi Sarah and hi again Mary and Tina. Oh I love these little hearts that come up, it's quite, quite the Valentine's. Oh hi Jenny Harris. Um, now on a six weeks holiday with plenty of time to get my sew on. Alex and Rose currently in the pool in the back garden looking forward to the launch of the new fabric. Um, hi Mona. Oh, see you at the NEC then. You might have to chase me around a bit because I'm not standing still in one place, but I'm definitely going to be there. Uh, Joe Cook watched Sewing Quarter today. Thank you. Had a nice time there today. It was all um, interiors fabrics. You can catch up on YouTube if you like. Jenny from Guernsey. Hi. And Doreen in Northern Ireland. Joan in Denmark. Hi, Joan. Um, stressing order. Oh, Beverly. <laughs> waiting for a new fridge freezer to be delivered I hope that's arrived leave the doors open a bit and cool down somewhat um, Mary can't get me on the PC but I can see you on the phone oh it's alright it's just a mini version isn't it um, oh we had thunder and lightning Janice as well last night kept me awake it was like somebody it was like the paparazzi were outside the paparazzi were outside you know but they, the, the lightning scared them away happens um, hi Carol. Is that everybody up to date? Lovely. Hi Alison as well. Right. So I mentioned earlier on Christmas fabric. So I want to I'm going down here again. I haven't got all of them here. Because it's not properly out yet and I couldn't buy any. But I've got a few to show you. And it's all robins and baubles. Um in lovely classic colours as well. So it's all 100% cotton. This will, if it's not in your local stores already, it should be coming up very soon. Hobbycraft are launching in um, middle of September. And Inspirations in Preston already got this in stock. I was there last week. Lovely to see everybody that came along as well. There, so it's all ribbons and robins and baubles and music. So have a look out for that one. And while we're there, to oh, launching on Create and Craft on Sunday at 12 o'clock as well. Create and Craft do exclusive bundles, so um, I'm not sure what they put together for this one, but they, they normally do um, six fat quarters or half metres or one metre length, so I'm assuming they've done the same again. They tell me nothing, I just turn up and sew stuff. But yes, talking of Christmas, I've got a pinny panel as well. So this is a, a Christmas pudding recipe, which is a proper family recipe, what my son made, he used to be a chef, um, with a drawing of said Christmas pudding and all of the instructions on the pocket on how to make Christmas pudding. So I've done all the drawings that go around here and it's all on one panel, so all you need to do is to cut them out and sew them together. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put a video on, um, on YouTube as well. In fact, I'll put, put it on, I'll put it everywhere. I'll put it on News at 10. Um, I just a speed up video of how to make it because it's really really simple so have we got anybody else here oh yes we're busy 
um, Alison, thank you, and Sharon, and your poodle Millie. Woof! Um, Polly Ann. Oh, the nail bar. Fancy you noticing the nail varnish. I <laughs> I've been going to the same nail bar down the road um, for three years, and in three years, I've used the same colour every time I go. And every time I go, I say to the girls, I'm going to shock you next time and go for something different. And I go the next time and I say, no, I'll have the same one again. So last time I went and I said, I'm going to go different. I want that one. And I've spent the last week looking at my nails thinking they, they don't look like my hands. And it's gel, so you can't get the blooming stuff off. But I'll be going back to the normal one next week because I'm very predictable with nail varnish. Fancy you noticing that. Um, hi, Carol. And Anne, oh, the cushion kits, thank you for getting those. They, they are coming back. Um, I've had, oh, I haven't got them here, have I? Oh, fancy that. The, um, the sewing machine dust cover that I did on the sewing quarter, sorry if you didn't see that because you won't know what on earth I'm talking about. I designed a sewing machine dust cover with a print of one of my sewing machines on, on the front, and we sold out of hundreds of them in about 10 minutes. Um, they are coming back, I think it's the 15th of August. I'll double check and I'll, I'll, I'll put that on, um, on Facebook and let you know. I'm sure it's the 15th of August. If you've already got the sewing machine dust cover, I've actually designed some little storage boxes in three sizes, like nesting boxes with the same print on it. So you can, you can decorate your sewing room. Really excited about those. Been designing those this morning as we spoke. Uh, hi, Angie. Rosalind wants a Robins. I love Robins. They're cheeky little things, aren't they? They're really bossy. Um, just got in late. Hi Debbie, just got in so late on parade. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant you were late for you. I thought you were on a parade. Um, you don't, you're not very late. Don't miss much. And thank you, Hilary. Open fabric. Oh, I'm glad you like that. Um, hi Dawn from Redditch. The, the apron's really easy. That would make a nice gift to give somebody maybe that's learning to sew for Christmas time as well and Linda and yeah 12 o'clock on Sunday with fabric launch Linda and Carol hi from Ilkeston must have told you before that's where I went to school I was born just outside Ilkeston seem to remember that conversation um, Julie was at the NEC not so long ago was too nervous and started struck to, it's only me come and say hello next time I shall be at the NEC the festival of quilts isn't it I should be there. So if you're going to the Festival of Quilts, then you say, do come and say hello. Um, Robin Ferris. Oh, I'm glad you like them. I've oh, got lots, lots of comments. Got the other panels. Missed the sewing machine. Cynthia. I think, it's, I think it's the 15th. Now then, not just the NEC. I'm also going to be at um, the Creative Craft Show in Manchester, which is the 4th, 5th and 6th of September. I'm there with Kim and Tyler again um, and I should be right next to the search press stand. I am going to be doing workshops there again like I did at the last one at the NEC but all the, there's three a day but they're all going to be the beginner sewing machine. The beginner sewing machine workshops were so popular they, they, they sold out way, weeks before the actual show um, and I've been asked so many times to repeat that so for £20 you'll get my Sewing Room Secrets book which I shall happily sign for you if you wish um, and it's a tutorial all about looking after your sewing machine learning about your sewing machine but there's a lot of Q&A people come along and ask questions about twin needle sewing and shearing elastic and all kinds of things so all of that will be covered as well right I'll finish off what I've got to do here then we're going to have a look at what's coming up on the Half Yard Sewing Club I did have uh, a message from Brandy it was quite long and she sent pictures and everything so I've, I've kind of cut it down a bit she got a problem she says upon completing the borders of my quilt top I noticed that the seam allowance in a couple of areas has been compromised and measures shy of an eighth of an inch instead of a quarter of an inch I have concern that the, these couple of areas will be susceptible to tearing over time with use and washing being the entire quilt top is now complete how do I go about mending or reinforcing the seam allowance to prevent the seams from tearing easily so I've had a, an ask around and Melissa who's on my design team who's top quilter has come up with an answer for you now she said um, if there's any obvious places that you think need strengthening stitch on top of the existing stitching particularly where the seams are bulky she says she presumes that you press your seams to the side 
and it's always advisable to press flat the seams flat first just as you've sewn them to set the seams the other thing that you can do when it comes to the quilting is to quilt fairly densely across the seams so free motion would be good there and that should help to strengthen the seams and hopefully stop any unraveling when you come to wash the quilt um, Melissa being the perfectionist she is we live in the countryside that's a tractor going past the house um, would actually take the, the whole quilt top to pieces and make it up again um, she said if you if you make the seam allowances slightly larger then the, the quilt will be slightly smaller but it should work out what else have we got right um, half yard sewing club is going to give you a tease for some projects that we've got coming up oh did you see the penguin have you ma anybody made a penguin it hasn't got a name what's a good penguin na not Percy not predictable Percy penguin let's see if we can come up with some penguin names um, now what's have we got? I like to answer everybody as you come through. Oh, now Mary, we may, yes, Glasgow next year. It's, is it January or February? I can't remember the dates. It's January or February. I haven't written it in my diary because I haven't got next year's diary yet. But yes, we're coming to Glasgow, me and Kim and Tyler. Um, <laughs> and oh is, is everybody in Glasgow called Mary at the risk of repeating myself Glasgow question mark quick yes Glasgow we're coming to Glasgow I went to Glasgow for years that's a nice that's a nice place uh, we did speak before yes Carol from Milkiston thank you love all your books thank you to Louise in Wiltshire and Francoise from Belgium bonjour uh, Kathleen Middlesbrough and Rochelle in Malta. Oh, we're, we're quite multinational, aren't we? Um, Jan Marie from Bristol um, and Bentley Pippi. Charlie the Penguin. I kind of like Charlie. He looks a bit like a Charlie. Uh, Perig oh, Peregrine is very posh. Cynthia. Peplo. Polly. Peter. Pinking. Oh, oh, sorry, we're on penguin names. Um, Pippi, I didn't know what you meant, Anne, but it's penguin, sorry, penguin names. Um, Freya, not doing Harrogate, Anne, I'm afraid. What about the south? It's gorgeous down here. Um, I know we just spent a week in Canberra Sands, it was lovely. Um, Pepper Peng, well, I like Pepper. Um, flights in good time, my daughter. Oh, okay. I shall post as soon as we are confirmed. I did, I did say I'd do that one, though. Um, bubbles, like bubbles. Cause it's got circular fabric on there as well. Oh, got lots of names. Edinburgh. No plans for Edinburgh, Nancy. We did do Edinburgh a couple of years ago. It's really nice. We had a lovely time, actually. Me and Kim came up. It was really nice. We went, I can't remember where we were. We had a drive to somewhere just outside of Edinburgh, and it was... Um, uh, like a, a beachy bit at the side of an estuary with a bridge going over the top and we we ate in a little restaurant right on the bridge and watched the cars going over and boats coming in and everything Poppy and Jimbo Horatio Polly Penguin Ralph the Penguin we used to have a dog called Ralph we wanted to name it the kind of name that he could say himself Ralph um, Jenny thinks it needs to be sewing related okay up of the penguin Percy penguin got lots to think about there I wanted to show you him though because um, somebody was asking me I think it was at the NEC uh, about how I come up with the ideas and how the designs come together and stuff like that so I'm going to show you I'll show you what happens this is probably not the way professional pattern designers do it but it kind of works for me so I'll come up with an idea let me flick you over so you're so you're up there and I scribble it really roughly so I've got the side of the body here and that's a beak and then that's the front section of the body that's the tummy and that's the back and the first time I drew it it didn't quite measure up because then I cut them out and I kind of stick them on top of each other to make sure everything's going to go together so those are cut out that's the that's the beak so that's that shape then I'll sew it, well, I don't even sew all of it. I, I kind of pin it together. So this is all a little bit odd and, and skew-if. 
and very short in the body but I thought that the wings work the beak needed to be a little bit bigger I think but it just looked a bit short so then I didn't make up another one I just extended the measurements and this is what I send over to search press all of those bits and then they transform it magically into the pattern that you are able to download so you can see from this rather sorry looking character I extended the body to make it a little bit longer I didn't sew the base in or anything like that because that was purely just to see if it was going to work and if the pieces fit together well so yeah that one just got a little tail as well look so that's probably I don't know a day a day of penguin designing and making to come up with these little chaps I can't throw that one away I normally save all the stuff in and stuff for, for prototypes so his head's all wonky and everything look but he looks such a <laughs> such a sad little character I don't like to unstuff him and put him back again so if you've made up your what we, what's, what's a sewing related name um, Peppa Penelope Queen's Ferry that's where we went yeah that, it was it was so nice there um, Poplin the Penguin that's sewing related isn't it kind of like that one Oh, Janet, congratulations. You won the sewing machine when you were at Hobbycraft a few weeks ago. Well done. I'm going to go with Poplin for my penguin. So they're going to pick a name. Oh, okay. Oh, all right then, right. I got all ahead of myself though. We're, go we're going to give a prize for the names. Oh, forget Poplin. Poplin's going to go in the pot with all of the rest of the names. And then we'll, we'll pick out a name, or the team because it's not just me we'll pick out a name and, and we'll choose a name and then and then you're going to win a prize don't know what you're going to win uh, they'll let me know later you win something um bobbin the penguin i think that's been done before poppy ian <laughs> pucker the pink pucker's nice pin the penguin like that um uh, when you're hobbycraft at quiz at, at bristol you made a bag can you remember which pattern you used I've got the bag here somewhere. I've got so much junk in my little... So, I have so many projects in my little area. It was a... It was a simplicity pattern. Um, I'm going to have to look up the pattern number. I can't remember offhand. I haven't got it knocking around. I shall find out and I shall post on the page and I shall let you know. Right, what else do we need to talk about? I'm at sewing quarter on Saturday. Um, what have I got? Nothing of mine this Saturday, and they're going back to Christmas again. So Christmas in July starts again tomorrow, and it's going to go all the way through to Saturday. And I'm going to be making an advent calendar up in the first hour because I don't have a guess for that. Um, and then Sunday, remember fabric launch. Bob penguin, Bob penguin, Binky. I'm getting loads of answers, thank you for these. Picky penguin. Um, do you remember p p p p pick up a penguin? <laughs> Trollala, Pinny the penguin. Hi Dana. Lovely. Okay, where are we? Oh, this is going so quickly. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, that's Kim. Bag pattern 1153. So it's a simplicity. Yeah, 1153. That was the one that the bag that I made in um, in Hobbycraft. Oh, so I was going to show you some more projects that are coming up. So we've seen the penguin, and coming up to August, I have made a little set for you. Well, I've come up with an idea for a little set that you can make yourself. Let's put it that way. So we've got a sewing machine dust cover, um, all fully lined. It's made with bosel with the sewing machine applique on the front and I'll show you in the video how you measure your sewing machine. It's got, a, it's got an hole in the top for your handle. The hole in the top doesn't have to be there if you don't want it to be there. Um, but the, the important thing that is that it's going to fit your sewing machine. So I'll show you how to measure all of that and make, have a perfect fit. And then just as an extra little bonus, you've got a matching sewing machine mat. I've been using this for a few weeks actually. 
I like a mat for a few reasons. Firstly, because it protects the table. And secondly, I tend to sit in one place and sew and push the machine out of the way and bring it back in again. And it just means I can slide my machine across the table. So that's coming up <coughs> very soon. And then after that, I'm not, not sure how far ahead I should be telling you. Been asked for a man bag for so long. I made you a man bag. It doesn't have to be just for men. But it's one of those crossover body messenger style bags. I think it depends on the fabric you use, doesn't it? You can you can make most bags look very manly. But it's slim and it's kind of laptop size, so it's really useful. You can fit A4 um, papers in there and stuff like that. So I hope you like it. So that could very well go with the Christmas waistcoat that Adele made for me there. I was going to talk about tensions on your sewing machine. Um, I mentioned on the sewing quarter, um, if you're watching, I've, I've been, I've done quite a few workshops recently and the one question that everybody asks is tension. How do I know the tension's right? How do I adjust the tension? Um, when do I need to adjust the tension? And I think particularly with new sewers, tension's one of those things that you just think, oh, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. My stitches don't look quite right. Do I turn it up? Do I turn it down? Don't turn it anywhere. It's probably not the tension. Never, never, never touch the tension on the bottom of your sewing machine. Um, there, I can't remember the name of that. I was going to look it up. There is a specialist embroidery um, a technique where you embroider from underneath the fabric. I can't remember what it is. But that's the only time you adjust the tension on the, on the bobbin. But, so ignore that because you're probably not going to do that anyway. Um, your stitch should sit perfectly in the centre of the two pieces of fabric. So the, the, fabric, the thread comes up from the bottom, it wraps around the thread from the top and that should sit in the centre. If your top tension is too tight, it's going to pull the bottom thread through. If your top tension is too loose, you're going to have too much thread going underneath. But these problems are probably not the tension. If you've got a lot of fabric that's coming out underneath your needle, underneath the fabric, and they call it nesting, it's just getting all knotted up underneath there, it's probably the thread not going through the tension, not the fact that the tension's not tight or loose enough. So if you get nesting underneath your fabric, undo it and re-thread the whole thing. You'll know that the tension's engaged because when you go through the threading system with the foot up, get as far as the needle, then put the foot down and the thread should feel firm. If it starts to just pull through, it's, you haven't engaged the tensions, re-thread it. Keep re-threading it until it starts to feel firm. But there's a few other things that can make your stitches look tight. If you have um, a brand new bobbin and thread on the top of your machine and they have those sticky labels on the end and you just poke the spool holder through and the ends of the sticky label are spiky, your thread can catch on that. If your thread catches on it, it's going to pull tight. It'll pull the bottom thread through. It could even snap and you'll think, oh, it's the tension. It's too tight. I'll loosen the tension. Check the thread first. Your thread may have caught on something on the way through or the threading system. Again, that's going to make it feel tight. If that doesn't work, check the thread and the needle you're using. Domestic sewing machine needles generally have a groove that go down the back of them, a tiny. And it just means that when the thread goes down the back of the needle um, or the front of the needle and through to the back, um, it sits in the groove. So then it's only the width of the needle that goes into your fabric, not the width of the needle and two pieces of thread. So the hole that it makes is going to be quite small. If your thread is too thick for your needle, it's going to drag because it won't flow through the needle properly. And if it drags, it won't flow. It'll pull the stitches. It'll look like the tension's too tight. It's not the tension. It's your thread. On the opposite extreme, if you're using a very fine thread on a large eyed needle, it can come through a little bit too quickly. Because in effect, the needle has its own uh, uh, tension kind of thing anyway. There are occasions when I will allow you to adjust the tension. If you're using shearing elastic, you need to whack the tension up to as high as it'll go. If you're doing pin tucking, so using a twin needle, you want that thread to pull the bottom one up, whack it up as high as it'll go. Or if you're using an heirloom stitch where you're using clear thread on the top and a coloured thread on the bottom, and you only see that the stitch on your sewing machine will be one dash line, then three, then one, then three, then one, then three. Um, you whack that tension right up again and it pulls through the coloured thread from the bottom because you're using clear on the top, you only see every other stitch, so it looks like a hand-running stitch. So there are 
the, the tension really is it's more to create an effect than it is to resolve a stitching issue. That was a bit lengthy, wasn't it? I hope that made sense. Um, Kelp of the penguin. Unpick a penguin. <laughs> Unpick a penguin. I like that one. Pink of the penguin. Slip of the penguin. Slip of the penguin. Pink of the penguin. Um, where can I get the sewing machine? Stencil on the cover. The sewing machine stencil is part of the download, which you're going to get on the 1st of August. If you're a club member. If you're not, you can't have it. Um, Miss the beginning when the sewing machine cover coming up. This this sewing machine cover will be next month's project. So first of April. If you make the sewing machine cover on the sewing quarter, it's very different. Um, that's the th I think it's the fifteenth of August. Oh, keep talking about your design team. Can we see them so we can put faces to names? I shall ask the girls. I do have pictures of them all. Do I have pictures of them all? I don't know if I've got pictures of the new ones. I say new ones. They've been with me for about a year. I shall ask them if they mind and I'll, I'll maybe I'll do a blog post how's that I'll do a blog post um, and introduce you to everybody they're all over the place um, they're in Devon and they're in um, Spalding and everywhere Stoke Hull um, but they're very talented and they're, they, they make they make a lot of stuff for me not the things for the half yard club anything that I, I do in the books um, or anything that I'm designing for the half yard club that they are all mine I don't kind of pass projects on to somebody else I don't say to the team I oh, can't be bothered this month can you come up with something um, basically anything that you pay for I, I've done that's all, all my own what I do do with the girls is like Leslie with this one um, I design the patterns um, I'd then send them out to the girls just to say how easy you're going to find this and that's bobbing um i get some really honest feedback if they say i think that's really a bit too difficult i couldn't make it very well or i think you should do this that or the other it's just nice to have a team there that will give me some feedback like that um right but yeah so if you want melissa i know melissa's watching she's the boss keeps them all in check hello puppy so do you want to ask the girls if they mind having a picture taken for a blog? Hey, come say hello. Are you coming? Are you coming? My knees are getting a good old licking, but she's not going to come up. You are right. Go on then. Go on. Go on, go, go. Um, stop it. Hi, Carolyn from Cornwall. I love a fat foot pedal. Oh yes, <laughs> I do remember Mary. Yeah, come and come and join the club. Um, there, there is a, a code. I think we're, I think we're still doing. I think we're still doing a code. Olivia will will put me right on that. Um, if not, um, oh, let's do it anyway. If you if you put the code in, that will appear on your screen. If not now, then very shortly. We'll give you a month for free. How's that? So anybody that's new, if you've just happened upon us, um, I'll put this onto YouTube as well. So if you're watching on YouTube and you've not heard of us before, then, then you can have a good old look around the site and see what you think before you're committed. I want you to, I want you to get value for money. I want you to really love being part of the team. Um, so if you said I didn't hear, but when are the new books coming out? I've got two books coming out this year, Mary. Oh, you'll be very noisy down there. You can come here, come here, come, here, come. Here. I'm all wired up. Come here. She's five and a half stone. I took her to the vets the other day and had a weight. Thirty-seven kilos. Thirty-six point two to be exact. Oh, I've wheeled my stool. Shoot! Nah, ah, nope. I've wheeled my stool over my bags. We get this every night. This is. Translated, play, 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 play. And I forgot what I was talking about now. What was I talking about? Oh, yes, the books. Thank you. Um, I think they're October. Um, end of October, beginning of November. I've got two more builder bags coming out, which I shall show you. Oh, now everyone's disappeared. 
Um, oh, I've gone. Is that you? Are you treading on something and sending me screen black? Stop it! Help! Can you call her? Go on! Bear with me. Go on! Go on! Good girl. Um, that's Gary. He's got uh, he's got Vienna, my granddaughter, and he's got the dog as well now. Um, yeah, I, I try and keep everything very different. So although you may see different satchels, they are different satchels. I don't repeat anything exactly um, because that wouldn't be value for money, would it? Because you don't want to go and buy a book about satchels and realise you've got half the patterns at home anyway. Don't like that. Hi, Lorraine. Uh, hi Mavis and oh hi Phyllis and hi Sharon oh that's I'm blaming Bobby and I don't know whether it was her fault or not apparently the screen's frozen hopefully you're back again now there you go oh good old Olivia so there's your code welcome HT make sure it's all up the case when you go in that you will have to put in your credit card details but you won't be charged um, so if you decide you don't want to go ahead you're gonna have to cancel that's um, that's the way it works. Hi Sue. I think we've covered everything, haven't we? Answer the questions. Oh, we're one next month. Did I say that at the beginning? It seems so long ago. So we're going to have special offers and we're going to have giveaways as well. I can't believe we've been going for a whole year. Gosh. Um, that will be 52 Top Tip Tuesdays. And at least 24 projects. Oh, you do keep me busy. Are you on Create and Craft on this weekend? Yes, I'm on the sewing quarter on Saturday morning, or presenting, so I'm there for the whole five hours. Um, and on Sunday, um, 12 o'clock on Create and Craft with the fabric launch. Um, who are you talking to, Jenny? Summer top pattern. Or do you want to, oh, do you want to go to summer top pattern? Or are you telling me to go to a summer top pattern? I think you've got a reply from Olivia. Oh, Jenny wants to oh make a special doll for a baby. I'll have to think. I'll have to think about that one. Uh, Mary, oh, you've been replied to. Oh, we are on the ball today. Lovely. I think we're all up to date. Okay, I'm going to pop off. Um, I'll see you again in a month's time here, live. Um, it's been really nice speaking to you all this evening. It seems like eight. I was saying to Kim just before Kim said, um, just before we went live. It seems like such a long time since we've been sitting here having a chat. Um, let me know next time if you want anything demonstrating. If we should do a bit of sewing. Um, if you've got any questions. If you have any problems sewing related, of course. Um, if you'd like a theme. If you just like to have a chat. Just like like. I'd like to keep you all happy because I quite enjoy these sessions. So I'm going to go off and have a, a glass of pop, maybe something to eat, enjoy the rest of your evening or your day wherever you are in the world and thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the telly box very soon or I'll see you again here in a month's time. Bye-bye.